I'm hoping you're having a good Thanksgiving. And if you watched it later, I hope you've had a good Thanksgiving. I wanted to post this little video just to show how um, when you watch like a movie that, you know, where there was a lot of guns blazing and shooting in there and you then play a video game right after, it can sometimes influence you a, a lot. So I was watching The Expendables 2 last night and yes, it's not a good movie, but uh, there is a lot of guns in this um, in this movie. Let me tell you, if you haven't seen this movie yet, go watch it. Uh, for a video game or an FPS gamer, it's a very interesting movie because uh, so many things remind you of like Battlefield single players, Call of Duty single players. It's like just watching a video game, literally. And if you're like me or like they're watching this movie and you just like want to like, you know, take part in the action, you don't want to just sit there and do nothing. And it's it's like that's how I felt. So after watching one and a half hours of guys going in and taking out all the bad guys, I was like, I want to, you know, want to do this myself. So this is kind of how you see the result of this two minutes after I turn off the movie. Um, what happened to me? I was just um, in this mood and... Um, ran around like a Call of Duty player taking out everyone and yes that's not a good thing so you know we see a lot of Call of Duty players in Battlefield acting just like that and and that's not good because they're not really you know they have probably the highest death kill ratio at the end of the match but then your team still loses and you wonder why this guy wasn't helping well that's why you can see you know me running around on in this uh, building with this flag that we already own and yes i probably prevented them from taking that flag back and but that's good but if our whole team is already in this building and nobody takes the other flags we're still gonna lose you know what i mean uh, it's and you know i know it has to do with the tickets too and um you know i think we've just kind of basically ran out of tickets and maybe i could have made a difference here by taking a lot of their tickets away I don't know, but that's not usually how I play. Um, I play more defensive in general, but the reason I posted this video was basically just to show how your mind can work, you know, from when you're influenced by a, a movie or by music or so, how you can do, how you do differently. Like, for example, if you like listen to really good music, you you do better work you you run faster you know if you listen to music while you exercise you exercise better uh, you know i in my bodybuilding days i used to um uh, listen to like you know a lot of hip-hop a lot of rap and that really fired me up and i was able to lift much heavier than if i uh, would not have listened to music at all i probably would have yawned i don't know <laughs> i would have been tired and i'm like oh what am i doing in the studio in this in this gym i shouldn't you know i'd rather be home and on the couch no i had this amazing beat going and i just was like oh, i just gotta have to work out and that's why some gamers listen to music uh, while they game, but it doesn't really work for me because I just have to hear the footsteps. I have to hear sounds around me. And that actually has saved me many, many, many times. And in this game, you know, in Battlefield, you have like those two different languages, you know, let's say you're on the US team and then there's the Chinese team. You hear this like Chinese going all the time and you're like, oh, oh, there's an enemy right next to me. Even if he doesn't walk around, he talks. So I don't know if you have realized that, but you know, sometimes when you have enemies around you and you want to be sneaky, don't do something that makes you talk like put down ammo or something like at that moment because they're if they're like listening to their surroundings and they hear you talk they know it's not them they know it's you and that's probably also why sometimes you don't get ammo um so if you're in the chinese team for example and you ask your buddy uh, for ammo in Chinese, the guy doesn't understand you because he's, you know, most likely American. And I think that's a big problem. I think that would have just uh, answered my question from the other day in my other video where I was saying, I don't understand why those guys basically just look at you. Well, you know, I mean, if you're a support guy and somebody stabs you and all that, maybe you should think and be like, ah, oh, maybe this person does want something from me and maybe it could be the ammo I have. 
But I think it is a little bit of a problem that there is uh, no way that this is in English. Um, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great holiday. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.